Uh, I'm Andy Grace, I'm Chief Executive of the Portsmouth Pier Pool. And we're just putting on, for the first time this year, the Portsmouth Comic Con, the International Festival of Comics. Well, we've been thinking about doing a Comic Con for about uh, four years, and one of the things we felt was appropriate for the Guild Tour was starting to devise rather specialist events, and uh, Comic Con sat naturally with the opportunity. Um, we've also got people we know in the trade. Uh, we've been working with Tripwire magazine, and we thought, why don't we create something quite unique and something different, and uh, this is what, uh, what we've done. I'm Joel Meadows, uh, co-producer of the Boards with Comic Con, and also editor-in-chief of tripwiremagazine.co.uk. Basically the show came about because we were approached by um, Andy Grays at the Guildhall who said that they wanted to put on a comic show of the kind that they've had in other parts of the country and we've done the website and the magazine for the last 25 years so um, it was a perfect fit. We built up a rapport and personal relationship with a, a lot of the people here and I, I guess I'm most pleased about the Simonsons coming, about Walt and Louise Simonson but obviously every guest has added something to the show. I'm Louise Simonson. Um, I'm from New York. I work on comic books. Um, I've done X-Men, X-Factor, Spider-Man, Superman, Steel, um, and a batch of other stuff. It's a little bit more laid back in that you actually have time to have conversations with the different fans who come up. You can talk to people, and that's really lovely. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's smaller, certainly, than San Diego or New York, but a, a good bit more pleasant. I'm Walter Simonson. I live in the United States, New York State. I'm probably best known for Thor. We've had a great time. The fans have been great. Uh, been very sweet. Saw some nice cosplay and have enjoyed the convention immensely. My name is Gary Erskine. Uh, I have worked for Marvel Comics, DC, Dark Horse, and Vertigo in 2018. And I also published my own project called Roller Girls. I do a, a lot of events, usually about 15 or 20 a year. Uh, I've done New York Comic Con in the past in Singapore. I've done a lot of European shows, um, small town halls up to 150,000 people. Um, I think for the venue and for the location, um, this is absolutely pitch perfect. I think it's a good family crowd, hardcore comic fans and uh, just general nosy people coming in to see what all the fuss is about. But um, a really good vibe. I'm actually very delighted to be a guest here. Hi, I'm Russell Walks. I'm uh, uh, obviously from the US. Uh, I'm an illustrator and a designer. Uh, I pr primarily work on Lucasfilm related projects, uh, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, that kind of thing. But I've also uh, illustrated many books on, on other pop culture related themes. The Comic Con so far, uh, we're about halfway through, has just been amazing. I can't. Uh, compliment highly enough the organizers. The people in Portsmouth are amazing. Uh, the weather, well done, fantastic. And I can't, I can't imagine any place where I'd rather be at a Comic-Con right now. San Diego Comic-Con has a hundred thousand people. So this is much smaller, but the thing that I like about that is that uh, I feel like I'm getting an opportunity to sort of, to make friends. You know, if that makes sense, and uh, really kind of immerse myself in the culture a little more than than I would if I were at one of the larger comic cons. Hi, yeah. My name's Mark Kenley. I'm the managing director of Go Geek Events Limited. We we got involved uh, a few weeks back to uh, do the cosplay competition. We never expected it to take off like it has taken off. It's been truly amazing to be able to bring cosplay into Portsmouth and especially to the south and show everybody how good it is and how much fun it is. It's just been brilliant. The opportunity to work with Portsmouth Guildhall Event Services um, was too good to give up. We'd seen what they'd done in the past. Hopefully it's something we can work on together in the future as well. Hi, my name's Jamie Barnes. I'm the events manager for Game Over Portsmouth. We're holding at the Comic Con Portsmouth 2018, the Game Zone. I think this is a real great meet, a real great uh, con itself. Being the first time, we wasn't expecting the popularity of the whole event itself. And we, at one stage yesterday, came to the point where we had, we didn't have enough systems for people to play on, which is really encouraging to see. But there was other, um, other events and other things going on with this uh, con that the people were able to enjoy also. So it was just a great pleasure to be a part of that. <laughs>
what the con is doing for the Portsmouth area is bringing people together, not just with the comic, comic side of things, but where it's so diverse and where you've got so many different um, games and sellers and comics and you know board gaming. I felt being a part of such a unique event in Portsmouth and with ourselves so centrally based in Portsmouth, we just want to share the experience with you. Welcome to the University of Portsmouth's Immersive Experiences Zone. This is our LED Sabre experience here behind us. So as you can see, you put on your virtual reality headset, you will battle a drone that is shooting light bolts at you, and you get the chance to actually experience that in a way that's very, very unusual. We actually have other things here, such as our hover bike built by our students, we have our robots and our technology. It's been a truly fantastic weekend. We've had everybody the most amazing costumes, the most fantastic fun. It's been a fantastic experience. The university became involved in Portsmouth Comic Con because to us, we are very keen to engage with the city. We're at the heart of as much as possible. Portsmouth Guildhall is one of our key strategic partners, so we work very closely together on a wide range of projects. We already have the dates for Portsmouth Comic Con 2019. We will be here without a doubt. I just can't imagine what we're going to bring next time. We are Gosport Steampunk Society. We are the fastest growing steampunk society on the south coast. We basically represent a Victorian view of the future. We were invited by Portsmouth Comic Con and we were very excited to be invited by Portsmouth Comic Con uh, in order to provide a, uh, a steampunk deck with the sort of entertainment we would normally put on for convivials and open days. Uh, around the country, generally speaking. This is probably the biggest crowds we've ever had through uh, through our activities. Um, we've managed to cope really, really well, and everyone, I think, has had a really good time. People are going away with smiles on their faces, so we're really, really happy. Uh, it's, uh, it's been tremendous. We, we, uh, we've gone beyond expectation in terms of the numbers so far. I think what's really uh, excited us is the response from people in the trade, so the exhibitors and the artists. Uh, they've given us so far a really big thumbs up and I, I can't thank them enough and, uh, for their response so that we get a good sense of what we can do better next year and build on it. I mean, we've got the dates for next year, uh, Saturday the 4th and Sunday the 5th of May, and uh, we're already planning. In our heads, we, we, we've moved to 2019 already. So I'll see you all next year. Fourth and fifth of May. So you get the sunshine and you get another Comic Con next year.